Since NFC and NFC-enabled devices were first introduced to the market, the technology has been used to make our daily life more efficient and organized. If you haven't used it yourself, you've probably seen it in things like Apple Pay, Android Beam, and Linus's geeky Easter egg hunts. NFC, or Near Field Communication, allows information to be wirelessly transferred between two devices. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top five things I use NFC tags for. NFC tags are small stickers or tabs that use this technology to give commands to an NFC-enabled device such as an Android or a Windows smartphone. These particular NFC tags were sent to me by Begin Industry, and each holds almost a kilobyte of information. These particular ones come as a simple black sticker, which I actually prefer to many of the rainbow and logo-filled alternatives on Amazon. Most tags, including these, are water-resistant, however keep in mind that you will need a special type for them to work on metal surfaces. Turning them over, you can find the small components that store and transfer data. They actually don't require any power and instead receive it from the nearby device. To interact with these NFC tags, I use an Android app called Trigger. It allows you to both read and write various commands to a tag. Trigger also allows you to implement restrictions so that your tags can only be used during a certain time or under certain conditions. Let's take a look at the top five things that I use NFC tags for. NFC tags allow you to set your device settings super easily without even having to go to the quick settings panel. It's great for configuring your screen brightness or notification modes, especially when you leave the house or go to sleep. Because NFC tags store data that can be sent to any device, Trigger allows you to set a tag that connects a phone to a locked network. As you can see, it's super simple to install and it just stores the password on the device, so anyone that has physical access to the tag will be able to connect to the network. If you find yourself always setting up a Wi-Fi hotspot when you're on the go, just stick an NFC tag to your laptop and you're off to the internet. Probably the most common thing I use NFC tags for is to create timers and alarms. This can be as simple as setting an alarm to wake up when you go to bed, but it can also be applied to other things that you need timers often for, like cooking. The tags can also store short pieces of information and text for things like tweets and text messages. I don't apply this very much in my personal life, but it seems like a fairly versatile option so I'm including it anyway. It allows you to create a sort of canned message for something like a text or a tweet for checking in. The last thing on this list that you can do with NFC tags is interact with apps super easily and automatically. You can use this to launch Google Maps or an assistant when you get in a car, and you can also use it to toggle basic music controls and even open up a website from a URL. You can use an NFC tag to launch any app on your device, but certain ones have more functionality built in. If you got any suggestions or want to share the things that you do with NFC tags, be sure to leave a comment below. Either way, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.